Well, it's been a polarizing debate for years. Is global warming a natural cycle or a man-made problem? Scientists are pointing to new evidence that could reshape that discussion. And Richard Southern joins us now. Richard, you're looking at some of the urgent new warnings from the science community. It's amazing we, we have to talk about this because it's, it's very clear. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, the anti-vax is in the news today, too. Mm -hmm. It's these two things you'd think we'd have settled by now, right. but not everybody. Uh, Francis, uh, new research uh, finds that man-made global warming has reached the gold standard level of certainty. Using statistical analysis common in particle physics, uh, particle physics, scientists evaluated volumes of satellite data and found that there is only one in a million chance that man is not causing climate change. <laughs> okay, uh, the so lead we're, we're it. This is it, it's yes. no doubt. So the lead author of the study says he hopes the findings will win over skeptics, spur more action. Of course, U.S. President Donald Trump has often cast doubt on global warming, and 38% of Americans say they don't believe in it. It's hard to hmm. picture something that's, I guess, going to happen a little bit further out, the effects of which, mm -hmm. well, we're, some say we're starting to see the effects right now. And then we get into our big SUVs and, uh, you know, with the big tailpipes. It's like you on the way. QEW and your big old SUV just going it home. Is. If only I lived closer. You Maybe. love Mississauga too much. He's I the do, most famous. True. You and uh, Colonel Sanders, the most famous You can just call me Mr. People. Mississauga, if you will. <laughs> Uh, another example now, Richard, of robots replacing humans? Yes, it is the senior manager editorial at City News and Gemini award-winning robot. Friend. No, I'm Wait. just kidding. That's okay. next. They're working on that. FedEx, though, is teaming up with Walmart and Pizza mm -hmm. Hut to test a new delivery robot. Look at him go, Francis. The battery-powered bot, and it looks like a cooler on wheels. Cameras help it detect obstacles. It can even go upstairs. Travels at a top speed of 16 clicks an hour. And, you know, more than 60% of people live within five kilometers of the store location. So companies like FedEx, like Pizza Hut, they're trying to make it easier to, uh, to get the delivery mm. through those short last few kilometers. I see a new YouTube phenomena coming, you know, tipping over the robots. Yeah, stealing the pizza from the inside. Uh, you know, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. So they say bigger is better, Richard, except when it comes to one small part of the fashion world. Great things come in uh, small packages, Look at right? That. Uh, Jacume, <laughs> this is uh, one of the big fashion brands. They are out with teeny tiny bags. Wow. And wow, look at that. What, what do you put in that? Can you Honestly, even fit your AirPods in that? One earring. Know. One earring, that's it. Believe it or not, people are buying these in big numbers. The designer says it has sold tens of thousands of the micro bags, which, by the way, sold for about 400 mm -hmm. Box. Like, I think the strap has more material than the actual bag. you got to accessorize, and this is the new thing, Francis. We're going to get you a teeny, I think you tiny should get bag. One. I'll bring it to Queen's Park with me. You will. Yes, I will. You can hold it with your little pinky <laughs> or, or something like that. Thank you, Richard. We'll see you again nice tomorrow. Nice to see you.